Hello and welcome to this Blitz video on chess.com. And we managed to get our rating up to 1700 briefly, back down to just below. Continuing our plan of trying to keep up with our opponents on time and trying to battle on a more even front of that slide. So we can play d4 because the knight is pinned and if bishop takes knight we can play queen takes knight. And we are threatening knight c6 here or bishop c6. So I think we just continue to develop pieces here. And now that the knight is free, there is a threat on this knight. So the question is how we deal with that. Probably need to play knight takes and then bring, oh, okay. So he's letting me mess up the pawns if I want to. Question is whether I really want to. That gives him the two bishops. Not convinced that we really want that. So, but I do have to worry about knight to d4 if I don't take the knight now. So just thinking, actually, maybe we can play bishop a4 now. Okay, quick f5, that's interesting. We have a check here on d5 and then capture the bishop takes. Doesn't, not a, doesn't look quite right in that move. But what I can do about it, I'm not sure. If I take now and then push e5. Tricky. And spending a lot of time, which we said we wouldn't do. So I can't really play rookie one because then the f2 pawn is too weak. Not sure if this is right. I'm going to play this move, judging by the fact that the this pawn is going to get exchanged. So I don't think I'm going to have doubled pawns, and a lot of the pressure, a lot of the problems is coming from the pressure of this. So if I take this now, I'm going to take here. Then I don't have to worry about this hanging. Now we could potentially push or just play rookie one and claim. Okay, so I'm going to play f3 and stop that pawn in its tracks. And I'm going to claim that black has slightly more central pawns, but white's very solid. Let's see, where would the future of this knight be best? We might be playing e5. In fact, e5 might be a move e5, and then you play d5. Uh, this definitely seems like it could be good to just break open these pawns. And if you don't take, I get a pass d pawn, which could be valuable. I'm also, you you probably want to play d5 to keep my knight out of here. Okay. So no immediate threats. Why can I not take this pawn? What am I missing here? We're going to try and take this pawn. Okay. So there's a check here. We have to hide our king. And that was the idea. Okay. So knight e4 looks like a fork that might win the d6 pawn. So I think we're going to play it first and then we'll think about what we'll think about the response. 2 minutes 40 versus 4 minutes. So I'm heavily down on time. So how do we... Where's the queen going to? Queen b4. Queen b4 could work. But then I might be taking a couple of pawns. Where else? Queen e5. Okay, so he did go for queen b4. I think we just take this. Obviously, we can pre-move the recapture. I assume he's going to take on b2. Okay. So, queen takes here. We've got queen e6. Check if we need it coming back to b3 to try and trade queens. And white is a pawn up here. Okay, so I think, okay, we might be losing the c2 pawn, I think we do probably lose that pawn. Obviously, if he takes my queen, I will capture with the c pawn to get it off the c line. And if he takes the c2 pawn, I think we just trade the pressure on the b2, yeah. So I think we want to get rid of this, and then my idea is... Maybe I can play this actually. OK, 
Okay, so this, so question is whether now, am I winning a b5 pawn? This is what I want to argue, but I think maybe you defend the rook. Maybe if you defend the bishop with the rook, it takes, takes, I take this first, and if you take here, there's mate on the back row. So I think you've got to move the bishop, and I think I win the b5 pawn. And then the question is, my back rank is weak. Um but I probably have time to defend against it. So by playing something like g3. And you can't really, you're gonna to have to put play bishop c8, that's the problem here. There's nowhere else to put the bishop. So bishop c8, we take, the bishop wants to come out to f5 most likely. And you have to be a bit careful about knight, oh the knight can't come here. I think you've gotta move the bishop otherwise it gets pinned. I play g4 now, takes, takes, and the bishop moves. I'm going to try this. Again, pre-moving the recapture. If the bishop moves, this pawn is attacked, but it can be defended with rook to b3. And I no, no longer have any back rank issues. And the time is equalized. So white's definitely better here, playing for the win. Okay. Let's defend the f3 pawn. Now, neither of us had to worry about back rank issues anymore. Okay. Let's, with tempo, bring our rook to a more attacking position. We might be threatening some 96 ideas. Hitting the rook. But I think mostly we just want to push the A pawn here. And just use this A pawn. Okay, what about gaining a tempo and a, and, a, and a space for the king to hide out if you go rookie to check and otherwise dislodging the bishop? Not many squares for the bishop. Um, I think we want to start, keep moving this pawn. The check I think we just answer like this. You need to play a bishop move now because you're Rook has no mobility. So bishop where? Bishop, bishop, bishop hasn't got many moves. You obviously want f3, but I really think that this pawn is very quick. And I'm wondering about this move so that I can play rook f6 potentially. Rook moves and then rook f6 to defend the f3 pawn. But then rook here attacks the knight. Hmm, that's annoying, I hadn't really seen that. If I go here, you attack my knight, and I can't move my knight, because then I lose my rook, and I've only got a minute left. Okay, Tim, so this pawn is gonna drop, that's okay. So we're gonna have to take some consolation in the past pawn and hope it's quick enough, because I don't think I can save this pawn. So rook, takes check. Now this is an attack on the rook, it must move. Okay, let's attack this pawn. Let's attack the bishop and defend this pawn. So the bishop must move, otherwise it will be taken. There is a check here as well, but he's covered that. Ah, that's a nice move, nice, nice move. We've taken the check away. Bother. We have a tempo here, is this worth taking? 36 seconds. So let's try and take that tempo again, I guess. Yeah, nice move. Okay, let's try and take this again. We can always come to d6. That's the next move, I think. Okay, we've defended our pawn. Now, can we use our knight somehow? I've got to get my knight here. That attacks the rook. The rook needs to move. Tempo on the bishop. Now, got our pawn forward a little bit here. Okay, tempo on this pawn, threatening to take it with check. 
So that fork wins us the bishop. So this should be a win now. Oh. I think the plan is to just take all the pawns if we can. And win our time. Okay, well, I think we have, we're winning on the board and just slightly ahead on the time. And that's just pushed us back over 1700, so that's nice. We'll just do a very quick game re review, see if there were any really terrible mistakes uh, for us. I'll just pause while that. Okay, so I brought the game to this position where we're currently apparently almost winning here, and I missed the win. I played queen e6 check here, but there's something better than that. I'll just see if we can see what that might have been. Um, my queen is on prees. Queen d5 check, would that be better? Don't really see why that would be better. Hmm, hard to see. Knight f6 check, g takes. I don't think that makes sense. Taking here can't be right. I don't see it, so let's just see. Let's just, uh, let's just ask the computer what was best here. Okay, so, okay, let's just, let's just see what was best here. Queen d5 is best, okay, let's just assume king back. Knight d6, now it wants to play. I see. So it's to do with this f7 square. Um, so obviously the threat is knight f7 with discovered and smothered mates. So why not rook c7 here to defend against that? Apparently knight f7 anyway. Knight f7, of course, knight f7, double x clam. And then if rook takes, queen takes, and then we have a mate on this square. Very nice. Ah, well, I missed that, but that's that's kind of hard to see with a with little time on the clock. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching this Blitz video, and see you in the next one.